The roughing gouge is one of the easiest turning tools to sharpen. Generally, they are sharpened with a bevel angle between 40 and 55 degrees, and it's ground so it's square to the flute. For the purpose of this video, we'll be matching the factory bevel angle, but once you get more confidence with sharpening or maybe a few duplicate tools, it's definitely worth playing around with some alternative bevel angles and just seeing what works for you. Begin by setting your tool rest to match the angle of your tool. I use some Sharpie on the bevel and just gently rotate the stone by hand to see how the contact area is looking. Once your contact patch is even along the length of the bevel, you can lock the tool rest in place. Because it's such a simple profile, the only movement we need to worry about is rotating the tool while it's perpendicular to the stone. It's not a bad idea to draw a few lines on your tool rest to help keep it straight while you're just getting started. With the grinder running, gently touch your gouge on the stone and in one fluid motion rotate the tool so that you go from flute to flute. The two flutes should be pretty much 90 degrees to your tool rest at the end of each rotation. When sharpening, heat buildup is our enemy, and if you overheat the tool, you can lose the hardness of the steel, which is otherwise called temper, so you'll want to be quenching the tool a few times to keep it cool. If you're using a standard speed grinder, you will need to quench a lot more often than if you were using a slow speed grinder, but if you keep the pressure light, you'll be right as rain. You'll know that you are done when you have a nice consistent bevel all the way from edge to edge of the tool. If the bevel doesn't look even or it looks like you may have a couple of different bevels, you're most likely lifting the tool off the tool rest, so make sure the blade is firmly set on the tool rest and lightly grind the bevel again. The way I know when to finish grinding is once I start seeing spark coming over the edge of the bevel. This means the edge is ground all the way up to the tip and we're good to go. The roughing gouge is a great tool, but it should only ever be used for spindle work when the grain runs along the workpiece from the headstock to the tailstock. There are many reasons for this, and we will cover that in our future Turning Tool Fundamentals video series, so make sure you subscribe for that. That's it for this video. Like always, thanks for watching, and if you're interested in these products or any of our other products available, there will be links to those in the description below. Hit that subscribe button and maybe leave us a thumbs up, and if you're so inclined, leave a comment. It would be great to see them. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'll see you next time.